It may be though. It's gonna be his first time. Oh, oh man! Yeah. I'm you on your know. phone. Give me a beat. Oh, oh man! Y'all gonna? I'm not really that. Man, give me a beat, nigga. <laughs> like give me a beat. I got you, Ernest. Hold on, let me see. Oh, All right. Okay. All right. Ding. 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 I like it. I, I, was you right. was supposed to keep with the. I hear your cowbell. Look, I'm not curvy. I can't do the shit. I'm gonna eat. I'm old shit. Okay. Coming to you real, real slow. My back hurt. Hope. Real slow. I could get you four minutes in the bed. What? And if that's not, if you're scared, you better get you if you know it. Wow! 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 Oh man! Calm me down, Terry. My boy said four minutes. Okay, let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Hey everybody, you already know what it is. This is your boy Uncle E with the EBL experience. Always across from me, my girl Lady B. What up, what up? Always to the right the dude who doing all the buttons, making sure everybody sound right. What? All the buttons. <laughs> Young Tig. Dr. Tig. Tig. Hey. Dr. Tig. What's up, baby? They acting like you don't do shit, Tig. I do a little bit. All right. Mm. And we have a very, very special guest, very dear to my heart. Yes, we do. Grow up with her. Very proud of her. I'm not going to call about her government name because we all know her as Jelly. Hi. Hey, Jelly baby. What's happening? What's going on, love? It's so good to be here. Okay, okay, okay. I'm very excited to have you here. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, my brother. You know you're always going to be close to Uncle E. Hart. I do know Uncle All right, my baby. So we all proud of you, yes, for real. Yeah. So yes. let's get this started. The question started. Let's get what, the interview started. Let's get the podcast what? started, right? First, first of first. all. First of all, okay. I'm about to say, I'm about to say something too because I go back with all these people. Like, I know oh, all you, y'all. Oh, you? I'm right. Yeah. Special. I literally know all y'all. But I feel <laughs> special. <laughs> Don't feel special. Not today, special. Ernest. Not today, Ernest. <laughs> <laughs> Not today to feel special. Oh, my Lord. Can oh. you give us a black history fact before we get started? You know, yeah, you we always got to start with the spot, black right? shit. Come on, man. It's going to be short. All right. Black history fact today, we well, ain't no fact because she one of the real ones. It's it ain't about a Earth fact. The, she a real one. Uh, mm, Earth the it. Kid. I get it. All right. right. Earth the Kid is said, it's a, <laughs> <laughs> Earth, right. Yeah, the said, original cat woman. Uh-huh. The original Broadway stage Talk play singer, uh, dancer, uh, actress. Uh, mm. flowers. You know? Yeah. I don't have any paint Earth the Kid. On. Yeah! <laughs> Earth the Kid is one of the icons. The original, that, the original oh, right? Yes. Earth the Kid born in the south of North Carolina and uh-huh. South Carolina is what they say. Okay. Right? Earth the Kid died. You know, she died of colon cancer and everything like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cancer sucks. But of course. Earth, the, Earth the Kid is just one of the real ones that also always um say what she believed in with no hesitation and no giving a fuck right mm-hmm. you know so shout out to earth the kid okay give her her flower i know she gone but we really need to start giving people their flowers before they leave this planet this earth that's right and that's everything. true but i agree earth the kid do your research and sell song. Look at the my one of my favorite movies is Go watch be, Boomerang. I spy. Say, no, Boomerang, I okay. spy. Okay, but I she she that. said Santa I Baby, spy. right? I spy. That yeah, was her she, song, Santa Baby. Yeah, yeah, Santa Baby. That Man. was the original. But that Santa was on Santa um, Baby. What movie that was on? Santa Baby. Yeah, it was on a movie. I ain't even know, but I knew I liked the song, and then I found out it was her. I actually thought it was a white lady, but oh, it turned out to be. I thought it was. I thought it was a white lady. I know, I know, I ain't shit, but I thought it was a white You're lady. You're too dark skinned for that shit. I know. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep it real. I was sleeping. 
What well, Earth the Kid, y'all. That's is my person for. I think this is our last episode for Black History Month. Black it feels that way. Yeah. Every every day is Black History. Definitely. But we definitely. always start the episode with a Black History fact. We definitely want to put that out there. Happy Facts. Black History Month. Facts. Because it's important, y'all. I don't think they celebrate enough, but you know, one day. All right. So that is what it is. Brit. What Lady up? B. What up? Did I scare you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little Just bit. A little bit. A little bit. What's up, Miss um, Boo? Yeah, so we're going to just give you a little interview, you know what I'm saying, Jelly, and just kind of get into the mind of a, a stage performer. You're our first non-athlete type, right? No, no, B wasn't. No, B said it was the yeah, last time. Entrepreneur. Well, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, but yeah. You are, you're our first performer, first singer, you know what I'm saying? So go ahead on, um, Ernie so Tigo, whatever y'all got. I think, I'm, right, I'm, yeah. I'm, think I'm first. Tigo. Okay, so. Uh, what do you want? You're an artist, <laughs> the pandemic, and we can't really uh, mass in these um, these venues or whatever. So how is that affecting you as an artist? It's like you really can't do a concert. Or can you? No, we can't. You can't. Ah. No, so. we cannot. Um, uh, I remember it like it was yesterday, honestly. Uh, it was probably March 13th. Uh, that was my last performance of 2020. Uh, March mm-hmm. 13th, I was on tour. I was in St. Louis. And I got the call that, you know, that was that was the end of the tour because, you know, we had a pandemic going on. So it's been kind of, uh, if I could be honest, it's been kind of up and down for me. Uh, I, I I have my good days and I have my bad, but I really miss, you know, doing what I do for a living. I really miss performing. I miss, you know, interacting with people mm-hmm. in that sense. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to keep in there and hopefully uh, we'll get back to a place where we can really do this thing again because I miss it. Mm. Mm. So, like, what has that? Is for what other avenues are you taking to get yourself out there? Uh, Child, I got a job, uh-huh. so I had to do that because that's what I had to do. Right, right, right. Yeah. Gotta do what you got to do, man. Yeah, shout out to my other job. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna talk about them because that shit about sucks. Them. I but, work. I got a job too. Yeah, I mean, I'm cool with it. That shit trash. I didn't want to say it like that, but because you know, shout out to all the people that work a nine to five. Shout out to people that work. But it's, I'm, it's that's trash. not my nature. Yeah. So you know, I'm used to being an entertainer. So it was yeah. it was it was hard for me to get back into that. You know, doing the whole nine to five thing. But y'all ain't that hard because you got to pay your bills. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I had to get back into it really quickly. But uh, we kind of been sustaining on, uh, you know, just doing live shows and doing the live streams and doing you know that kind of stuff right now. But I just really can't wait till we get mm. back to the place where we can do it. I attended a a, a, a live uh, talent show. Nice. On uh, Zoom. Okay. It You're was, looking like it you was, was stupid. stupid. How did you feel? <laughs> <laughs> His face is fresh. <laughs> he was confused. It was, it was weird. <laughs> it was weird, but uh, I've been in a club on Zoom. Like, okay. we had a Christmas party on Zoom. It was now just like the club stupid. and shit. Yeah. But that's what's up. That's what's up. You know, <laughs> if, if, I, if it floats you, then it floats you. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah. That's good, man. Yeah, but... Man, I'm just, I'm, I'm totally ready to get back to normal life for me. Mm-hmm. Right. That's my normal life. And, you know, yeah. Okay. We definitely okay. are hoping for that for all of us, really, because we, yeah. we like to, we like to go out and watch live performances, too. Yes, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, Lack of concerts. Please do. do Please. Because I go out now hmm. for some, for some reason. Oh, you're a big girl. <laughs> Hand <laughs> clap. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm girl. lying. She don't, she don't tell me no anymore. <laughs> Sometimes I actually go I places. I put my pants on. <laughs> you, miss, you miss Caesar's? Oh, Lord Jesus. Yeah, that's for Uncle E. You miss Caesar's, huh? I know you do. Caesar's is a part of a lot of things where people yeah. don't will never recognize. You but I, I, I grew up in Caesar's. Mm-hmm. I, I, I was a boy and grew up to a man in Caesar's, to be honest with you. It is what it is. I did. <laughs> I, I started Caesar's as a slim-ass nigga. Yeah. And now I'm a fine ass motherfucker. On, fat daddy. You heard me? Fat daddy. You heard me? <laughs> Get it, fat daddy. Go ahead. But you know what? Yeah, I miss it. Yeah, man. But I just really, I, you know, I, I do <laughs> dwell on that. But I do know that it's it's very important for us to protect ourselves. It's very important for us to, you know, wear your mask and shit, man. Just, just do the right thing. <laughs> right. So I can come outside. Shit. <laughs> Please no. wear your mask. That's, yeah. <laughs> See, look at Ernest Coffin. Wear your mask. He's nasty. <laughs> so. Ernest, Ernest Coffin and shit. Wear your mask. Your mask. Are you okay, Ernest? 
More than squashing. <laughs> <laughs> what you got, E? So, I, I, you wasn't the first New Orleans person to be on America Idol. Mm. But you being on America Idol meant so much to me oh. and to the West Bank. First person we knew. But Hello. damn sure. Well, Thank yes. you, man. Well, you know, we had, we had your homeboy from John Never first. I ain't know that nigga. I'm done with you. I didn't know. Oh my God. <laughs> I knew. But What's his name? No. I knew. See what I'm saying? Oh, See what I knew him. I'll make a name up, Reginald. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I, think, I, think that, I think that dude's name was David. Dave, yeah, it was Dave, actually. Dave I don't know it. Brown. That's yeah, my dog. David Brown. Yeah. I don't know Who is David. now, a.k.a. Lucky Day. He is all, he's an awesome, amazing artist. Okay. Uh-huh. okay he has okay. put out so much music right now, y'all. Please get on him if you're not on him. His name is Lucky Day. They Lucky spell Lucky D-A-Y-E. Matter of fact, nah, I do know Lucky Day. I checked him on Spotify one time. He's on Spotify. Yeah, he got so that you heard of Lucky Day. Song, yeah, I heard, which heard is of Lucky Day. right now. I heard so, yeah. of But um, that was David Brown went to our house with John Everett. I know Jelly with the Higgins. I she went to Eric for a little Eric bit. Little all, right, split, split. all right, all right. Split, split. I was split. But, um, I had failed, so I had to leave. <laughs> no, huh? You got failed. <laughs> really? Failed. These bitches failed me. I felt like, I felt like, and then I failed my ninth grade, right? So I felt like after that, they put me in special ed. Come on. And I had to get out of there. They put you in special ed. They, my class, my first class had 12 people in it, and I was very uncomfortable. <laughs> very uncomfortable about it. They put me in the class with 12 people, and we all wasn't right. We all wasn't right. <laughs> I was like, this is special ed. I'm going to go to Higgins. I got but a story behind this. I, I, I used to frequent the special ed class uh, often because uh, my my cousin taught the special right. ed All class. All your friends. So I used to, used to yeah, right. I got cool with him. Like, I got cool special with, like, with me. Bitch at yep. lunch and go hang with him. <laughs> <laughs> but back to the question, um, it just meant to, I ain't going to Oh, die, yeah, you bro. never even asked the question. I know, bitch. but it was about America. I heard of her being on it. I'm and sorry. You being on there. And how I know me and you are close. We grew up together, basically. Mm. Thanks. Girl, I bragged on you like like, like I was your mom. <laughs> Thank you. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you, my dad. I appreciate it. You watch America Idol again. <laughs> well, good. I you appreciate you, man. That that was a, a, a very fun time in my life. You know, I was kind of... I had already performed on stages. You know, I was I was probably working on Bourbon Street when I, start, when I did the whole audition. Mm-hmm. But I was the oldest girl. Mm-hmm. Mm. On the competition, I think, and I was I was about twenty six at the time. Okay, damn, but, that's not even old. Ha! <laughs> it's industry old though. That's uh, the crazy part. That is. But yeah, I was uh, I was twenty six, and it was just a great experience. I had never tried out for anything, and I just wanted to see if I could do it. I loved it, and I did it. I made it. I made it to top forty. You heard me. Yeah. And I I'm I was really proud about that time in my life, but I just knew it wasn't for me. Yeah. So so tell me um things that we don't know about America Idol be behind the scenes of America Idol uh, uh, like you know what people don't see um okay so uh okay one thing I can tell you uh it was a lot of hurry up and wait they would wake us up very early in the morning uh, uh I would say like about 6 30 because you're not a morning person I'm not at I'm, all yeah. Who and, is? Uh, so Facts. I would I would get up at six thirty. Have to be in the lobby for seven. Okay. And you would you would you know get on the bus with everybody, and then they would bring you to this location. Mm-hmm. You have to sit at least for about four or five hours. Okay. So it was totally a mind game because it was cold as shit in there okay. on purpose, mm. right. and they just you know it's a hurry up and wait game. It mm. really is, and they gonna call you up. We got there probably about seven thirty. I didn't sing until about four p.m. So you know it's a lot. Man, of, it's a long wait process in Damn. between it. And you know they're doing a lot of filming, they're doing a lot of production stuff, so it's a long process, right. very long. So through the through I'd have been the process, ready to go home. Um, so let's just say when you got your ticket to Hollywood, mm-hmm. when you got to Hollywood, how was that part? Like when you got to Hollywood, and I guess you cool with what's the dude? Not what was the host name? Ryan, Ryan Seacrest. Ryan, right. Mm-hmm. So. I know on TV he looked cool, whatever like he that. He was cool. Yeah, yeah. He I know he cool. looked down to earth. Very cool. Right. He was one of the coolest ones. So, do that whole process. I know it's a competition, but I know you make certain friends and yes. everything. Um, oh man, I made so many friends, and because I I didn't go into it thinking like, oh, this is a competition. I'm about to fucking shut everybody down. I don't want to be your friend. Oh, right. don't talk to me. <laughs> but I, I I literally went in to make connections. Right. Yeah. Because I, that's what I wanted to do. I didn't mm-hmm. really kind of. I probably sold myself short, but I ain't going to win. I really wanted to go in to see if I could do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. And you did, And bro. you did. I did it. You fucking did it. I'm cool mm-hmm. with it. Let me, let, let me tell you I'm something, cool Jelly. Jelly, baby. Mm-hmm. 
people can talk shit and or, or hate or do what they do, but mm-hmm. they can't do. What we you don't do. even acknowledge those people. Thanks. Mm-hmm. We thank you. But if you don't have haters, then that means you ain't doing something right. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, but trust me, I'm very proud of you. I'm thank proud you, of your man. success, and you, you know I will always have you all. You will always have my support, and I will always have your back. I appreciate. You feel that. what I'm saying? Yes, indeed. Okay, he got you. I know my baby. You know I can't fight, but I ain't scared. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. I'm gonna fight for us. Don't you don't oh, fight. Oh, I know you know how to fight. Yeah, you that? pray. You just start praying. I pray and you fight. Yeah. I know you can fight. Stop praying. Yeah, shit. The Marvel people should. You should have been in the movie to beat up Daniels. Shit. What? I, she should what? She would have won. See she now you going. Now you you going. You would have won. Now you going around the corner. Now you would have won. Oh Louis, help so, us, Lord. I mean, I, I I have a couple questions. What's up? What's up, Britt? I miss you. Yeah, I miss no, you real too. Shit. We I, we see each other on the internet. And I, I don't know. Like that. I, we gotta see each other in person some more. I know y'all be doing that kickball and shit. I gotta come out there. But yes, next time we gonna plan one real soon. Actually, so yes. next time I'm gonna let you know in Please advance. Invite Hopefully, me. you could come Last out. Last time there. I wanted to come really bad, but I, I had diarrhea. I, I really did, <laughs> and that's why I didn't come. I I, I, I let's be honest. Whatever. I understand. I appreciate it, mm. but um. So my I first question: If I kick that ball, that's it. Anyway, <laughs> what you say? If I kick that ball, baby, it was hey. coming down. Oh, oh my god! Anyway, <laughs> we don't want them troubles. We don't want them troubles. We we gonna get you out that next time. Though mm. hopefully next month we could plan a kickball Let's game. Let's do it. I think we should do it. Yeah, I'm about that life. But um, so my first question is: I know. Um, you you be with Tank and the Bangers, and they yeah, have a lot. Yeah, my people. Yeah, they have a lot. You know, they moving Please right now, from what I can see. That's not the right Tank, but great. Thank you so much for singing that. For uh, I, I anyway, knew that nigga was gonna. I knew he was gonna do it too yeah. because that's I knew too that stupid. Nigga, I'm like, yeah. bro, he, gonna hit, oh, he gonna hit that a shit. A true, a real uncle, <laughs> a real fucking uncle, just wrong and loud, <laughs> loud and wrong, <laughs> all the time. She yes. love me anyway. Anywho, <laughs> here we go back to Tank and the Bangers. Yes, Tank and the Bangers. Jesus, uh, so it just it look, it looked like to me that um, taking the bangers on the come up, you yeah, know what man. I'm saying? They really get nationally um, known and recognized worldwide as well. So um, I just want to know about your experience with that, and I know you've been traveling all over the world. And yes. what what is that life like? It's 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 kind of seemed like a rock star type shit. It is. <laughs> I'll, if I could be honest with you, you know, it's a lot of. Uh, Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I'm pre- I'm playing, but <laughs> it is it's so much fun. It's so much fun, and um, I'm just honestly blessed to be able to do, you know, what I love and what I feel like I've been raised to do. You yeah. Know? So I'm blessed to do that. Shout out to Singing the Bangers because that was probably one of the one of the first bands I've ever actually uh, toured with uh, on a long term standpoint. Yeah. Because I was doing it before once before I got into Tank and the Bangers, I was doing a a stint in Europe with a gospel group. Okay. So I did that first, and uh, once I came back home, you know, I was like, man, I want to do something else, you know. So I, you know, I got, I was blessed with the opportunity to join Tank and the Bangers and a bunch of other projects. But that, th- that's the people that took me overseas. Yeah. You know, so I love them. And you know, <laughs> I really got on Tank and the Bangers from the Tiny Desk shit. Yes. That's what. That's why I got exposed. I was like, oh, okay. That's I didn't probably know. one of my favorite performances of ours. I, okay. It was it really amazing. Was. It was Thank amazing. I really enjoyed it. I like it because nobody sound like you nobody. guys. Nobody. You watch the other ones? No, but I'm saying nobody sound like you guys. Shut up, Lamar Fox. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, from Thank what I heard yeah. so far. Go watch some of the other ones, though. I think you'll really enjoy it. Okay. You know, it's really, really a cool, cool uh, kind of concept that they got going on. With I the agree. Whole, you know, it's original. Tig is a uh, rapper. God, he's yeah, a, I like trap know. music. Yeah, that's but, him. You know. Oh, you want them? Oh God, yeah. not the hood, but the bitch up a dust. He don't know real music. <laughs> just, yeah. toxic. just toxic. He, he don't know real music. Ooh, ooh, real toxic. She called you toxic. He don't know real rhythm. <laughs> you, know, you know, you, know, look, you like a certain thing. Look at you. Let's say it. That's trap music. Rhythm, here it is. <laughs> no, that's that all just, you want to do. That oh. just like. I, what I like, heavy bass and heavy bass, trap music. That means you like gospel. But but listen, expand your palette, expand your palette uh, a little uh, bit. You hey, know? I'm willing to. Yeah, I'm not that guy that just shut everything off. All right. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Please do. I mean, because the the sound is original as well. Yes, fuck. indeed. Right. Uh, man, she is uh, probably one of the most original artists I've ever worked with, and I work with a, with a lot of them. Yeah. I would consider her and uh, probably Macy Gray one of the most, two of the most. Oh um, no. You know, influential and original people I've ever worked with in my life. Yeah, okay. I um, know. That's what's up. You know, I 
I appreciate what y'all do. You know, I, you. I'm a lover of music, and so when I listen to that tiny, that strong, what ice? Uh-uh. I, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I fell in love. I, I don't know why he poured you that that like that. My God, um, my God! Somebody's in there, my baby. Thank you so much. <laughs> the fuck wrong with Ernest? <laughs> <laughs> That's why Tig was laughing at me. <laughs> I'm like, don't I don't do that. Like it was water. I heard I it when no, I was saying. I him. have no idea why he did that. <laughs> you know, no you pour a lot when they make that. Do, 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 do. What? I was just trying to make my girl comfortable. I appreciate you, my baby, but mm-mm. <laughs> you want some pineapple? Thank you so much. Put me a little bit in there. Go on and open yeah, it. Yeah, go Come on, let's do it like ASRM. That's what it's called? What? Open, it on it. A, open it on a thing. Open it on a thing. Ooh, it probably, it's a whole lot. What was that? I don't know. The, I don't the know the AS- proper term. I'm sorry. What is it? ASRM? I, I don't know. I don't know. A- That's why I'm asking because huh? we friend? may have uh, came up on something that huh? we don't really that we want to. Exp- ASMR. 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 Oh, yeah. My bad. Mm. We're gonna we. <laughs> I will Google that after the show. Yeah, you gotta you oh, gonna, you gonna get into that. Yeah. We're gonna need you, some ASMR. Your eyeballs, your eyeballs get me freaky. So I feel yeah, like I am you're gonna be kinda into that. I know you a little are. bit, but not spirits too freaky. Spirits, baby. Let's right. Let's but baby. not too freaky. I don't Please. Really like No, bro, because they got levels to this shit. You just gotta you know? meet the right person. <laughs> Got, what what you level think, you on, T? So you think there's like this level of freak in me that's just to get out? That needs to, to be, this that needs to be, you know. It's definitely level. I mean, like, shit. what else is, I don't, see. Back to the questions. Come on, Brittany, right. because I, we about to go. About to about to what's, on, what's on the agenda, yeah, baby? I, I baby. had another question. Come on, shit. It. All right, too. Go yeah, ahead. so mm-hmm. this was, I don't know, maybe a couple of years ago. Like you said, we friends on Facebook, and you said something about um, that you met somebody who was unpleasant. But you didn't say who it was. Ooh. We assumed Cared. it was a celebrity. It oh, was. it was a celebrity. Okay. Mm-hmm. You care to share? Um, I'm not. Gonna, I'm still not gonna say the name because I ain't much gonna do that because I'm pretty sure I gotta get famous one day and somebody gonna have the same story about me because <laughs> people don't be feeling like it all the time and I get it. Mm. Now I get it. Mm. But at the time, that whole ain't have to act like that. But it's fine. Right. <laughs> so it's a, fe- it's a female. That whole really didn't have to act like that. It's rapper? a female. Rapper? Whatever. I ain't gonna, whatever. Okay. We, can't we, we all get no clue. I, I, I was trying to think. I know who you, it is. I was going to stop at like what type of musician. And I guess. Then I was going to leave it alone. I'm if not going to answer. not going to answer. But let me tell you. <laughs> it's just about, you know, and, and I had to understand it for myself, honestly, because we don't always feel like talking. Right, and and right, I had I to. It. I and it. I had to really understand that for myself you know going out of town and shit people come up to you and they want to have full-on conversations yeah. with you mm-hmm. and you just got off the stage I right. get it. or whatever you're trying to get in your space you know whatever right. i'm that and nigga i'll be like hey what's up jelly and Ooh, i'm gonna say what's high. up come but on don't <laughs> ask me three more questions after that don't i say probably would not because i just don't say understand. what's up i'm a big fan that's how you gotta do mm-hmm. but Whatever. Everybody will be that's like, a good game though girl how you doing i'm, I'm playing on me and i just wanted to take a picture with her <laughs> but that one had to suck her security on me, and I was like, "Wait, I know you're lying. Wait, oh, God. we had to, we performing at the same event, and you got your, <laughs> and bitch, you just pulled out your security card. That's what's up. That's what's that's up. That's fucked up. Also. Mm, mm, it is, mm. but you know that's yeah, life. It is what it and, is, and 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 even going to the Grammys showed <laughs> me that you know people How aren't that? what they really seem. Mm. You know they aren't what they really seem, and. You gotta kind of take that for what it is, you know. Be true to yourself, even when you when you come in any space. I don't care who it is. Right. Be right. true to you, and, and I guess they was being true to them. And I'm like, whoa. So who is an asshole out there that we don't that we wouldn't know is an asshole? Everybody. Everybody's an asshole. Okay. Everybody. <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, people. I mean, I'm gonna just chuck it up as this. Honestly, you know, sometimes you don't fucking feel like it. Mm. Period. Sometimes you don't feel right. like I'm a regular is, person. And but sometimes this is our I don't job. Feel like you, know how, you know how sometimes when you get up yeah. in the morning, you have to go to work from your fucking nine to five, mm-hmm. and you don't feel like doing that shit. Sometimes. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. And it's almost every know, morning. So I, I try not to hold it personal to the mm-hmm. to the to the artist or to the person right. because you never know what somebody else is going through. But I take it a point now to be kind to people who, you know, even consider my gift. You know, as being something special and want to be a fan of mine. So I don't, you know, I'm not really in a space where I'm like, hey, how you doing? No pictures. Right. <laughs> you know, but, you know, but, you know, everybody needs their space. Yeah. I don't, I hate when people don't consider 
you know, people that are popular or celebrities like they're regular people because they really fucking are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And sometimes they don't feel like it and be okay right. with that shit. So like, if, I, if, if I see a celebrity and I'm just like, hey, what's up? How you doing? Just tell me you're a big I'm fan. Good. That's it. Right. Yeah, keep it moving. I just, I, I, but I can't answer that picture. Because, you know, I, something Why like, you got to have it, though? Because the cloud. Uh, see? I know. The you're crazy. crazy. At least he like the everybody cloud, else. Man, people be showing their celebrity pics. I want celebrity pics, It really too, don't matter, and... though, because sometimes a moment is for you. The moment is for you. Right. Really. Like, I got a chance to talk to this person. Yeah. Right. Like, I don't have to ask you for a picture. Yeah, but you're right. Yeah. We live in a, we live in the internet times, and everybody is you know, you know niggas love shit crazy. You know yeah. niggas so love. They want to show that yeah, bitch, I was chilling with this one, and they can put all kind of fake ass captions on it <laughs> in the studio working. Right. No, you're not. You just met them. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. You know the the, the the saying go, man. If it didn't happen on the internet, it didn't, it didn't happen. happen at all. That sucks. That's, Ew. That's, yeah. that's, that's fucking trash. <laughs> that's that's so trash. Horrible. That is trash. That's so horrible. Man. But I but you know. It's, it's, it's a lifestyle that you can honestly sign up for once you become an entertainer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you got to kind of It's part of the job. It really is. It really is. So That's I try a tough my best part. not to be a bitch or try to not to be mean or in a space where I'm like... But it's hard to see to you like that, though, because... I know. I, like, growing I, up was, with you, look it's up. really hard to see I, I, you like I don't that. get it twisted, though. Yeah. And you know me. Right. So right. it is what it is. Right. But Facts. in that mode... It's different. Right. It's much different. You know, when you go to a foreign space or you go to, you know, a different state or a different country mm-hmm. and people are really fans of you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's like. Yeah, it's different. I, I get it. Like, bitch, I just saw you yesterday. It's right. like, like that. <laughs> right. But people are, are, are really fans and that's the part of it I'm, I'm you know, getting used to now. Right. Because people are really, you know, um, appreciative of your gift. Right. And they, they're right. really checking your shit out. So, I yeah. feel, I thanks, feel. fans. <laughs> well, stop touching me. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you can't be touching all the niggas. Yeah, that's, 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 that's like, so um, we, um, yeah. So, Jelly gonna stay with us throughout the whole podcast, you know, you know, she, she here. Okay. So, you know, we're gonna move on and everything like that. And um, Lady B, yeah. next on the agenda. Yeah. yeah. What we got, my love? I like so, that. So, you know, I yeah. gotta talk about, I gotta talk about my girl. Serena Ooh. and um the motherfucking goat baby. She there is go. the goat. Yes, she, she is, is the goat. Play with her. Ever since she had a baby, she haven't been able to win a major, unfortunately. Mm. Naomi kinda cleaning up. I think Naomi pregnant. You heard it here first. Um I think Naomi's pregnant, but all right. You think she's pregnant too? She's a little round. She was looking a little she was looking not a little like round. herself. She with your boy or not, huh? Um, that, uh, that child, YB Cordae. Cordae. Yeah. Cordae. YB yes. somebody. I think that's a good look, though. He's a decent sounding young man. Yeah, that's a good look. I don't oh, know. You know, I don't do the hip hop. You like hop. all that, though. You yeah, like I don't, all that. But he's not do a trap rapper, from what my okay. understanding. Nah, he's, he's real positive. So he give, like me, he give you like a uh, new age Lupe or, or like a Wally? Yeah, Wally's? yeah, yeah, yeah. But Seriously, like, really though? Will yeah. Smith rapper, huh? Huh? Will Smith? No, no, no. No, his no, son. No, What's his no, son no. name? Wow. Jaden. Jaden. Yeah, did he give you Jaden? No, he, he just give me like a... <laughs> Ugh, don't do that. I'm going to paint you a picture of the struggle, but I'm not a... Uh, I don't... Uh, he doesn't like portray that shit like as far as him doing the activity. He's right. just so happen to be a witness of it. Yeah, okay. So he's like, this is what happens in my neighborhood or yeah kind of like Wale that's why I like Wale so much he okay, like, I'm okay. Not a gangster. Yeah. Wale, yeah, yeah. Wale? Wale okay. is not a gangster at all he'll tell you he don't yeah, right. he, he's he talking as a poet mm-hmm. poetry yeah. dude okay he, he yeah. I didn't poetic. know that I didn't know that very right. poetic Wale I never re- uh. I like yeah. Wale I like um, his style he just begged to be great too much like shut you know, up you shut up Laurent shut up shut up I just <laughs> I just, I just think he do too much. Like he'd be like, I'm great. Like I get it. Like you're but great, so, but it's like I'm great. Everybody, I am. What's the problem? I don't know. What I is mean, the problem? Why does that make you feel inferior? Or why does that make you feel? No, inferior? I don't feel like inferior. I'm okay, just well, saying if you yes, do. No. <laughs> yes, no, do. I'm just saying if you're great, then your art gonna speak for you. But, but even, even if like, I want to say I'm it, great. without like, my art speaking for me, why haven't I got that? And I'm great. I'm better than this guy. I'm like, no. well, Lil Wayne said in the beginning, I'm the greatest rapper in the world. And he but was. I, but so you feel like he he he, he does that? <laughs> huh? You you feel like Wayne the greatest rapper in the world? At one point, yeah, he had. Okay, the, I give you that. Okay, at one point, he, 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 he cleaned he clean that up. Yeah. Then he did. he yeah. had the <laughs> rap game under his boot. He got a lawyer over there. You feel yeah. me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm not even a big Wayne fan, but you sometimes you just got to be like, you got that dog. Yeah, yeah he cool. He yeah. a cool lyricist. He really yeah, is. Yeah, 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 yeah. With his five dreams, man. Yeah. Six dreams. 
He got about eight. I, I say level. He has a, a level. I'm going to give him 11. That's not your Ooh. business. That's not your business. But I think he we... He's making your business, though, shit. He taking you pictures. Gotta, you got a fade. He's taking pictures, nigga, <laughs> taking, doing videos and shit with the bullshit. He we ain't should've... wearing no hat. He making your business. <laughs> Let's do a bet. How many Wayne? How many dreads Wayne have? Oh my God. I say I'm think, nine. I'm, I'm thinking going eight. I'm going I would 11. say twelve. Honestly, twelve. He has okay, 12. we'll figure it out. <laughs> to be continued. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You did the wrong count. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 11, 12. 11, 12. <laughs> Get it right. So I say twelve. Yes. Right. Oh my God. Get back on Sunday. Oh fuck. Oh yeah, we was talking about Serena. How we got on Wayne? I, I don't know. know. I like this though. I like when conversations just go everywhere. Yeah, they right. be but, going. Um, Serena, man, Serena has put so much time in time in this thing and she's been the blueprint for so long I agree. Oh, fact, yeah, you know definitely. that i you know i understand her hurt but it's time to pass it man. it is it's I, time to pass the torch i needs. think you could see it in the game because mm. she's still cool don't get it twisted because like, no, she beat she the piss beast, out of that white girl but it's like it's, it's, it's <laughs> she a beast. nobody can fuck with the button they she beat the piss they out of yeah. 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 that gotta of, be yeah because the thing is two years what the two years in a row Naomi got her Naomi the only person that can get That's it. what I'm saying. You feel what I'm saying? That's so, why when Naomi go so, out on but, maternity leave, but this is Serena going to get two more minutes. But I feel, you better speak it because mm, the baby right. pregnant. That's that baby pregnant. pregnant. That baby pregnant. That's a good take, pregnant. Brittany. But, I but all right, that, if she not pregnant, she's okay, pregnant. Cool, y'all. No, but but I, that baby pregnant. <laughs> but I feel that Serena already... I think she wants to pass the torch to her. She, she I, think yeah, she I think if she get, I do. think if she I get one so. more, I think she I think do. She do though. I think so. I think she do. I don't think she's ready. I think she is. I mean, Listen, she has something she to may prove. Want, she may have she chosen her. She has something to prove. But I don't. Right, and that's what I like about mm-hmm. Serena's yes. story. Yes. She's already great, but. She has another obstacle in her way. Which is ha- winning a major after a baby, which has never been done. Yeah, yeah. we don't really yeah. know. That's what she got to prove. We yeah. don't really know if a woman, like, if if, if sh- this is possible. Like, if a I'm, woman could, I, like, I'm dump this thing off. What are you up. saying? No, up, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, we don't even know if. Shut like up. A, <laughs> like, we don't even know if a woman this age can actually get back on her game after giving birth. She is a, But what if she does that? Well, I think she's 36. Maybe 37. But what if, but what if she does it? That boy I, clean I'm it telling up. you. No, I, I'm just saying. Like I'm we, telling you we, what's we, gonna happen. Naomi gonna go out on maternity leave. Okay. And Serena gonna win two majors. Go but Naomi is I, a I part of the <laughs> obstacle. That don't really like to me if, if she don't Listen beat to, Naomi, that's the only, then the that's, let me go I, It's she, not her fault that Naomi on maternity leave. That's well, okay, so nah. let's. You can only play who in front of you. I understand that, but let's say if uh, Naomi was at her peak, that's where you want your competition to be at their peak. But so Serena you, not at her peak. I think that's I think, what I'm saying. Listen, like that's that's. I don't like think I nobody said, really. this is gonna fuck like with her I at said, her peak. That's, that's what I'm saying. No, like I said, yeah. she's but had that's her a run. story. Yeah. She is awesome. She's still amazing. I don't but think you it's are over. aging. Yeah, you know you're getting a little older, so but I, they gonna have somebody younger than you, probably 10, 15 years younger than you, that's gonna come in. I just, I just and feel be like, cold. but this I think just, that's what makes her better. This is the challenge that like she the has. Like to go more because she at the age that she at doing what she's doing and still fucking over people. Right, but this is the this, how many but fucking no, men are old as shit still playing tennis. <laughs> Don't nobody question their motherfucking age. We not, and we not, what we not doing. questioning I'm on this. Your side. <laughs> we, Don't piss me we, off. No, I'm not pissing off. I'm just saying that we have never before Be like careful, experienced boy. this. Uh-huh. We don't I feel experience you, but I, I'm what? good, E. I'm it's good. Not. No, you not. Experienced what? We have never experienced like a woman, a woman, a woman this age doing her thing, giving birth, and can't she snap back? <laughs> like, can't she like get her crown? And she has a young buck in front of her. Like, what athlete do you know has experienced those hurdles? So I'm saying if she perseveres over that, then we could talk about she's the greatest all time. The greatest what all time? Athlete. Oh, period. Oh, oh, oh. oh. okay. But okay. I like, all I'm saying is Thought I like the story. Okay. I like the challenge that's in front of her. And I, I, I love it. Like, if she could do it, I'm I, fucking with that. Honestly, I would love if she could get through Naomi. Do I see it? Not but, at this point. No, I don't. Um, if Naomi go out on maternity leave and she went two more majors, that's gonna give but her what 20, 26, I think. But so, yeah. so that's 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 so Naomi is pregnant. Oh, we just talking that's, about me. That's what, what I, I are saying. I'm saying she. I 
I that we believe think she's pregnant. Naomi is pregnant. Okay, well. But this is my thing to hit on the subject. We got to talk like she's not pregnant. No, no. She's right. No, but no, we don't talk I'm what it is until no, it's it cool. But this is my thing. So Serena don't play on no team. It's her. All her career has been her what she can do. She can't rely on nobody to throw her a fucking assist, a touchdown pass, throw a block, none of that shit. So that's uh, it's just like Tiger with golf. It's just him. I love tennis. You feel what I'm saying? And but, track. but Serena is so much a goat that she's really not appreciating to get on my nerves because she's a woman and people don't see her as such because it's just her. She had to rely on her athletic ability to beat that other person. It's me right. and you versus each other. And time and time again throughout her career, right. she's been number one in the world. Right. Not in the United States, not in Texas, not in Louisiana, in the world. In the world. Mm-hmm. Right. It's her. There ain't no team, motherfucker. Put right. Some but on it's, what I'm saying. But now we got to look at her compared to other goats. MJ. You know what I mean? MJ. You saying both. MJ had help. LeBron had help. MJ oh. had, Kobe had help. No, I'm just that's saying. That's just the facts. I'm just saying, like, we comparing them like you saying both. Okay. You know what, what about saying? you we, saying both? I'm just saying it's like the all-time grace. Like now we gotta, okay. like we gotta take her out of the tennis realm and just put her as an athlete, and then look at her compared to the all-time great. She, and whatever you, she however you, she the greatest winner of all time, of all right? Time. So however you see it, you see it. But like I think there's the conversation we need to talk about her compared to the MJ's, the Tom Brady's, the Usain Bolts, the Carl Lewis's. Whatever you know, what I'm saying I think I get it. That's what we not you know. But I think she passed and all now of we, them up. Now we tank her in that. Now if she can get over this, I think she passed them up. This I, Naomi girl. I don't know if she's gonna get past Naomi. I just, don't think so. Uh, I don't. I think know. Naomi. So the the is pregnancy at, didn't. It didn't. It's not. Um, <laughs> Naomi so you, you, is the, the pregnancy time. is not perfecting her her, her her performance to giving birth. What you mean? Like, I'm asking you, like, what do you think? Like, how is that affecting her performance? It didn't affect her performance just now because she just won the Aussie Open. No, I'm talking about... Uh, Serena? Serena. Uh, you think I this think, is playing a part I in think, her game? I think the further she get... I mean, with Olympia's two. So she two years down the road at this point. And um, I, I, I think she went back to a couple finals, but if she can't... If she can't get past Naomi, or if Naomi happens to not be pregnant, which I really doubt, then I think Serena's going <laughs> to go ahead and retire. I'm not ready for that. I think she's going to retire look, after this People year. think Tiger's the goat of this and that, and Tiger fell off all the fucking way. You feel what I'm saying? Serena, you can't but tell me But he fell off that because of scandal. Scandal, he, he drugs, and everything like that, but... his. You can't tell me personhood uh, to how be Serena actually fell off. Drugs. Shit. She always doing her thing. That's so, what I'm saying. I'm it just, is what it is. Dude. I so, just can't wait to, for her to finish her story. Yeah, I think, it is she, what it yeah, is. I think she got more in the tank. I think because she it's did. definitely not finished. You're right. I'm looking, right. Forward. Yeah, I'm looking forward, forward to it. I love, I love Serena. Uh, what? What you What's doing? next, Lady B? No, you yeah. didn't. Look at him. He's a, he a crazy person. I am. Girl. I love him, though. I do. Oh, my God. Damn. Yeah. I be practicing I love my point. All right. You look like a daddy now. I like it really. I really do. You he look is like a daddy. Oh, I am a daddy. Look at you. You a grown up. Uh, so, people been criticizing Russell Wilson because, cool. he, Russell. because he good to his woman. Not Russell. That's how you uh, interpret that? Wow. That's pretty much how I interpret That's it. That's wild. <laughs> <laughs> it's Fuck, yo. Nah, Speak I'm your mind, dude. Go ahead, bro. I'm sorry, I'm really good. I'll just fucking with y'all, man. I'm saying it. that's what I interpreted it as. He good to his woman, and niggas don't like that. <laughs> no, listen. For some reason. Now, Brent, now Brent, I'm going I'm to I'm go on a, limb, on a limb and be mutual. The reason why some men are, are bothered by this man for whatever fucking reason mm-hmm. is because they feel like he's a cornball. <laughs> and they feel uh, like he's he the a swaggiest simp. fucking he's cornball they know. No, he's not. Let's be honest about it. But <laughs> he a little swaggy. Listen, everybody don't got to be that. That's why that's that's, that's true. Stop fucking putting everybody in that box. Mm. Everybody ain't got to be that. He ain't got to be swag though. Mm. He may be a cornball. There's there is a fucking place Quartin. for the cornball. So you 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 would fuck with a cornball. I would. Okay. I've, I've I've fucked with all kinds because I like men. <laughs> 
I like a man. You well, know, I'm not. I'm not. Well, I'm damn, not, that's like the best know, rationality I'm not, no, seriously, I've I'm not ever a heard. I'm not okay. saying I like any and every man, but you know, I don't. I, I've never person. To, I've never been a person to put myself in a box to say I have a type because I don't. Mm. I like men. Mm-hmm. You know, and if I and if I'm attracted to you as a person, you know, it's, you could be ugly. I'm cool with it. You know, but if you got that going on, if right. we got a connection, I'm fucking with that. Right. Mm-hmm. But if not, I ain't fucking with it. Right. <laughs> I need to be more like you. I don't care who I it is. It. Because that's what it's really all about. Mm. And I don't, I don't, people going to be ugly, bro. Everybody ain't. <laughs> everybody, <laughs> everybody not going to be shy. And I, it just is what it is. It, it, you right but about But they that. be having bomb ass personalities. Mm. Like, and, and like good attributes that you would see in a, in a potential mate. So, you know, so you're saying dig deeper. Yeah, dig way deeper. Get the fuck off the surface. Active. The surface ain't shit. Yeah. Oh, we talking about Russell nothing. Wilson? Uh, Ernest, you want this or I you want me to? You, to do I'll go you first. want me to tap this? I go first because uh, I know you deep with this shit. We I'll, had a combo. I'll tap that pussy. But me personally, <laughs> what? I I wasn't hip to it at first until I found out what was going on, you know? and I found out what he said. And but in my mind, what like, he said? Because let me say, come on, because the internet be saying all kind of shit. He's a his greatest fear is losing his wife. Yes. And, and I was like, ain't nothing wrong with saying that. What's yeah. the problem? There's no problem in that. That's y'all, a, y'all. that's a, that that's his fear. That's a that's a legit fucking fear that he had. Like my fear is not watching my kids grow up. That's Love my it. legit yeah, fear. That's his fear. That's my only fear. You feel what I'm saying? But I understand where he's coming from. He appreciate yes. his woman, his queen, or whatever like that. He appreciate that shit. He love her. Now, I just learned the definition of simp. Dr. T taught me. Mm. That's why he's a doctor. He's simp daddy. What? But my you thing really is, think this man is I don't think I don't think he's that. I can't even do this with you because we're gonna talk about this all night. I don't <laughs> think I don't I don't think uh, he's. Just I, I don't I don't think he's. It's that. okay because that's it's okay if he's a simp. That's what I don't certain think he's a simp. I think he's do. corny. I don't think he's a simp. They are tomato, simps, tomato. No sir. <laughs> simps are simps are men who allow a certain type of woman to get away with any fucking thing on them. Ooh, yeah. She has not gotten thank, away thank you for with the anything definition. Ding, ding, ding. besides making this no, nigga fall in love with her def- because she's really a good like, wife. But we never so had she has opinion. not gotten away with She ain't got over on this motherfucking man. She got her own money. Got her own they money. fell in love. Right. They had a baby. Right. He raises her baby that she had with some fuck I nigga. love it. Ooh. And 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 that just man. is what it is. A real dude. He's, He's a, a real, real man. man. He's a real man. Jelly in here preaching. I want to get the and, organs and out. Fake niggas can't really get. It with takes it. a real man to raise somebody else, son. Let's go. Let's go. Dude. I'll give you anyway. that. Yeah. Oh, shut up. Give no, me. No, no, no. <laughs> shut. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Fuck. No, I I will give you that. It does take a man to raise somebody else's son. Mm-hmm. But to be out there like I'm raising your son. That man ain't saying that. Say you out your, you out of pocket. You out of pocket. Sierra said that. No, she didn't. She posted All that they said was, I'm, I'm, I am, I'm, but I'm elated to have a even, man. But even if what Sierra said, if what I, she said, Russell didn't say it. Russell's just doing what you That do. lady is proud to have a man Russell that is will the accept prop her. In the play and not to say the baby's Sierra's a flaw. Life. That he's accepted her flaws and all. All right. You know, not she's to say the baby's a flaw. Right, baggage. But, you know, she has her own things going on. He doesn't have any kids going into this marriage. She has a baby. Mm-hmm. Like he's he has accepted me with all of everything that I had before him. Like what the fuck makes him a simp? That doesn't make him I don't a simp. Think, I, you know, his little person, his is. personality. He's a cornball. My but thing, the man all right, simp. son. So he said that's his worst fear, right? Right. My thing is why is not losing your kids the. Why you got to choose what my fucking worst fit is? I, but we hold crazy. On, hold on. We crazy I bet you, as a motherfucker. I bet, you, I bet you one thing, if he was to lose, if he wasn't Russell Wilson, the MVP quarterback, he wouldn't, you Why? know. What? He wouldn't what? He wouldn't what? He, he'll lose her. What? <laughs> Shut your motherfucking he'll, ass He'll off. lose that. Look, my thing is like. Bye. My thing is you got. You got you got kids. You mad with this man because this man is scared to I'm lose not, his wife. I'm not mad at him. So well, why you want, I want listen, But listen. let me speak to all my fellas before you say what okay. you gotta say. All right. Hey, fellas, <laughs> let this man simp in peace. <laughs> Fuck this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Forget about him. He gonna say some simp shit every six months to a year. Fuck that man. You just ignore him, bro. We don't need to get all in the I'm room. Away. You know, cause now you know I'm here. Man, fuck him. Let him do what he do. But my, what you were saying, Joe? I am saying this. I am saying 
why do you feel like, and, and, and a lot of men like you, why do you feel like he has to have a certain type of fucking fear? Like, that's his fear. Why you got to choose it? You put your fucking churn before your wife. You're not married, so you I don't know what that's you like. This shit was a trap, nigga. You don't know what that's like. <laughs> I mean, bro, you I gonna, didn't you, have you, this you the nigga Facebook. that's gonna say because you yeah, love your I baby didn't girl. Have this at work. Uh uh-uh. you can have it all you want, it's but you had it with. It is, you guess know, what you had man. it with? You had it with simp niggas. <laughs> that's what you had it with. You had it man. with actual simps. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Wilson is a simp, and good. Well, good then. Time will tell the story. It's not over yet. Okay. Uh, the story is not over yet. It sure is. That's all I'm going to say. But guess yes. what, though? Even they if they have a lifetime to even go. If they break a up, lifetime. Even if they break up, because I know y'all, hey, y'all come. E- even if they fucking break up, they shared a real fucking feeling together. They shared something real. And it ain't going no motherfucking way. They had an actual fucking love for each other. And that's okay. Yeah. You know that, right? Yeah, that's, that's really okay to have. It's really yeah, okay to cool. cherish somebody I, 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 and let them cherish you too. I, 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 I fuck with that. You My lovely see, black man. I ain't really tripping all that shit. All me, that day. See, let me just say. Like, and that's saying, fine. That's fine. I'm like, what's the problem? It's a story to tell. And shut it's, up. It's just chapter up. three. Brene, next question because I'm going to punch <laughs> on him. Let's go to the next question, Brene. <laughs> I love you though. I, shut up. I'm going to punch on you after this. I'm not even After this old She really going to speak you in your eyes. I'm just saying. He like, you know. Yes, be prepared to get stuck. Come on. That's not right. Come on, we know, we know, that shit is it imminent. So the end of the we day, know what it is. At the end, end of the day, so just know it's imminent. She gon' she at, gonna, she gonna get you. At the end of the day, <laughs> that man <laughs> love his wife. That's right. Let and him I love her. Love but she never be like. Love her right. And see that? She you never see the same shit from her. Yes, yes you, you do. You don't drop the shit. You don't even follow that lady, fucker. You don't follow that lady. Man. You don't fucking follow that lady. You just going off with the get off the internet. First of all, get off the internet. That's first. You don't follow that lady to know how that lady feel about her motherfucking husband. What's next? Shut up. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> All right. Oh, Lord. Who we got, lady? Okay, What's next? So, I love you, Lerone. <laughs> all right, I know. I love you. You still get stuck, nigga. Huh? You still get stuck. You know you're going to say shit. Nigga. She hit hard. Hey, I ain't going to hurt you. I ain't going to hurt you. I'm going to love her, not a fight. I'm about to put you in the simps. Don't, Don't put me in the simps. <laughs> put you in that cat. No. The way you, the way I grew you, up with her, so I know. The way you carrying on. No, I grew up with her, so I know what her dogs do. People, no, let's get that out of the way. No, I'm just saying, I'm about to grow up though. And people grow up. I ain't with all that. I told no, I'm, I'm a lover. Not if a somebody fighter, play with you, it, it will come back to you. I'm just saying, I'm about, move, I'm about to move you people over change. there. Can we, can we get to this or that? Can we get to this or that? Let's go this or that, baby. Oh, what's this or that? I'm That's excited. one of my favorite shit. <laughs> I like choices. Yeah. Yeah. It makes me excited. You gotta pick one or the other. What it is, Brick? Yeah. This or that. We going, um, so y'all, yeah. I'm sorry. That's my friends. I can talk to them like that. <laughs> what it is, B? Oh, God. I can't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I did this like that. So we going <laughs> Mortal Kombat uh-huh. or Street Fighters. Okay. What? <laughs> who, you, who, who you got, Brent? <laughs> which, which franchise you have? Man, I, I got to go with Mortal Kombat. The only person that I really know from Street Fighters is Ryu. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I'm going with Mortal Kombat. Me too, Brit. Yeah. I'm going with Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Yeah, got to. Who you got? Mortal Kombat. Who you got? Like, stupid ass. Why? He about to say, Street Fighters. <laughs> <laughs> Watch. Because he got to be different. He got to do it. Watch. Who you going with, Ernie? What's up, man? Come on, bro. <laughs> Who you going with? Watch this. Who you going with? Who you going with? Mortal Kombat! <laughs> you just did that because I had already said it. You just did that because so I said you man, was going with. Man, I always been a Sub-Zero Luke Kane type of nigga. So, okay. I mean, that was my niggas. Street Fighter was a little bit too soft. Well. I ain't oh. never seen fucking blood out of but Street Fighter But that's how we grew games. up, though. I mean, I... I Shout out, not, not shout out, whatever. Um, uh, Mordecai, <laughs> uh, Street Fighter was what we grew up on. You know, we kind of, you know, that was the we first did. thing. No, I ain't seen then, no Street Fighter, Mordecai, and then, 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 then they gave us Mortal Kombat, and yeah. we was like, fuck uh, Street Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it, it paved the way. That's exactly, it did it pave the way. Love Sega. 
I mean, you know, niggas still say I do get. <laughs> they the way. You still got one? You have one? Man, I think my mom threw my shit away, though. Good, good mother. <laughs> I, st- I still fuck with the video games every now and then. Oh, I know you, you look do. Like That's why you got your fucking thumb problem. <laughs> <laughs> you got carpal tunnel? I don't know. <laughs> carpal tunnel, Harvey tunnel. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> oh just, my god! I didn't know my shit fucked up. <laughs> oh, I've been oh, told you go to the doctor about that, but anyway. Oh, all right, what's no, next? Anyway, so we all go to combat. All right, yeah, what's moving on. Be? That's fine. So, go ahead, bro. All right, so, <laughs> man. Okay, so. I saw something on Facebook and I was kind of intrigued about the topic, so I kind of wanted to bring it to the table Ooh. regarding um, step parents or girlfriends or whatever disciplining children that that aren't theirs. Yeah. And and how y'all feel about? It? Let me go first, please, if I can. Yes, you may. Um, I personally feel like it's levels. Mm. Um, because if I, if I have a child, <laughs> don't laugh at him, Jelly, because he, he's right fucking, I don't know anyway. where the song came from. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Bitches, you a whale? Y'all heard it? <laughs> yes. I, I literally covered up. I really? Was good. Come on, Brent. <laughs> if, with you yeah, if, if I have a child uh-huh. with a man and he gets married and me and his wife have a good relationship. As in, I feel like I trust her to have the best interest of my child. Yes, Lord. Then I don't see a problem with it. But a lot of people on the, on the post, because you know, some, this is the type of shit you dig in the comments about. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people on the post was like, "Hell no, don't touch my child." Like, and I feel like, why, why? Because I got hit by a lot of people that wasn't my mama. Right. Well, we it's, grew up in a different time. We, I, I get and that. And our generation fucked up with the head. No, we really stupid. Yeah. And that generation right before us, they stupid. So okay. they be feeling like, oh, no. don't, don't touch my fucking baby. Yeah, bitch, <laughs> I'ma do it. So what's don't, up with that though? Yeah, Cause they, we fucked up. You know, I, you know, I don't know. Maybe we got too many weapons. Uh, Maybe we got too many, <laughs> and we just like flashback. Don't touch me. You know, or, or you know, I don't Flash probably because we all people. got hit by somebody but that I wasn't feel like, our parents. Honestly, if it's your wife, mm. if it's your wife, even if it's your your long term girlfriend, not some bitch you just be playing with for a second. Mm-hmm. If 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 that's that type of relationship, I would trust. I would hope I can trust you. You know, with dealing with discipline because discipline don't always mean spanking. You know, I would, I would, I would hope that I can fucking trust you, Miss mm-hmm. Lady, with discipline, <laughs> my baby. You yeah. know, without okay. you going overboard like some fucking Mrs. Trunchball shit, and you know, that bitch like from the fucking swinging floor. my baby from my, by her ponytails and shit. You oh. know, so <laughs> I would hope, I would hope, you know, shout out Matilda. Yes, oh, I would girl. hope that you that type of woman. Yeah. But do I want you just willy nilly? Hitting on my baby, I fucking don't. Mm. I really don't. I get that. You don't want nobody willing, especially if you don't willy nilly. Please was, don't hit, hit my your child. child. It was different for me. Don't hit my child. It was more to combat for me, boy. <laughs> don't hit my child. Don't do that. What boy, you mean? What you mean, Ernest? We, everybody know I have a stepdad. So I mean, my stepdad had been in my life since well, I was four four years old, mm-hmm. and my mom had five kids. So. I mean, I give all all respect to him because a lot of men not going to take care of five kids that's not his. That's facts. Oh. You feel what I'm saying? That facts. is. That but is. So I'm she not... had this five kids prior to him. Facts. My God. So my thing is. What a good man. Right. <laughs> oh, you didn't get to the story. <laughs> <laughs> it's not in it. Okay, I'm sorry. The plot thickens. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go. It's. Not, and let me tell you, everything I say on Gil is. It is what it is because fuck it's the podcast. If you can't be real on him, then you a fake nigga. So my thing is, man, my stepdad beat the fuck out of me, boy. You feel what I'm saying? And y'all can laugh because for, for I no like, reason. It's really not funny. I mean, but, I, I because I that is I not remember, funny. Was it for no reason? I re- <laughs> Let me ask this. Though. I remember one time. <laughs> Do you feel like it was abusive? I'm about to tell you. Okay. So I remember one time. I don't. It wasn't even that serious what I did when I was in Eleanor. But this dude took me to um, his sister's house 
that had a shade with a pool table in it and everything, right? So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I laughed. So <laughs> I was trying not to. Because it's fucked up. <laughs> but anyway, no, I say y'all can laugh. No, we can't. It, it, it's not you fucking right. No, I, no. I feel like a crummy person now because no, I laughed at. But look, I'm really no, like over here, like no, straight. <laughs> moving so, back and forth. So basically, a lot of people don't know the story. My bad. Go ahead. No, it's cool. A lot of people don't know the story. So. <laughs> got in the shed and he had me in that bitch for like 20, 15, 20 minutes and then you think a lot like man what the fuck he shade. gonna do to me like this is a for real I see yeah. a lot of shit hanging I said he gonna stab me <laughs> stop LaRose <He> st- <laughs> <laughs> listen to the abuse so so he got in there uh-huh. and he was I'm like listening. I forgot what he said but he picked the pool sticker like he was <laughs> Steven Seagal <laughs> He picked a pool stick up. I ain't right. In my you. eyes, that bitch swung that bitch like he was Steven Seagal. And he whooped me with the pool stick. Wow. And, That's deep. And I would definitely tell you, I do not recommend nobody getting beat by a pool stick. So. Like, he beat me like it was the Godfather and Mike Corner, y'all ordered that shit. Pool sticks hurt. Yeah, no, nigga, me. you ain't never got beat by a nigga. You can't yeah, tell I, me I never repeatedly on. got. <laughs> Bop, 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 bop. It was no bop, bop. Whack, whack, whack. When I got oh. hit, it was whack. No whack. One big one. Yeah, you know, like, oh. You was a man. But all you really do, <laughs> really tensed all up you see back, me is rolling. Together. I actually try to hide under the table. I roll over the table. Right. I try to crawl under the table. That bitch grabbed my leg and dragged me out. Right. I said, he's serious. <laughs> so you would never let us So what did you parent. do to deserve that? I really don't no. remember. But what I do you, remember uh-uh. one day, me and my sister jumped him. It is what it is. Yeah, like we, <laughs> yeah, like we sure. haul ass jumped his ass. Like, it is what it is. Yeah, like after like, like, a TV on It fucking is it was, what it, it is. It was on that night. So, so I, you, I got tired of that shit. That you're night. not Don't for you. for step parents. So it was so, something you had to get tired of. The like, the re- like, it, it is, but the reason like why like, no, it is because at some point you as a child you are free until you a certain age you you like fuck this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I'm not saying this story on how, oh, he's a bad man. Don't get me wrong. Because he is a he's a good man in my eyes. He was just abusive. But he was his his <laughs> discipline is just on a whole fucking other level on some shit. You sound like a oh, you sound like them women. Them bad at women. I mean I am bad, right? Like but to Ain't that some shit though? No, yeah. bro. But what, I don't hey. But when a man No, but listen though. But when a man disciplines No, but listen. When a he man find... discipline different than a woman. Right. And my yeah. thing is my stepdaddy, if I ask him for anything, he would do it for me. If I if I ask for Duh. The... <laughs> <laughs> the fuck he gonna give me the world. The fuck <laughs> Tiffany Diamond. <laughs> he ain't He's no abusive. <laughs> No. The fuck? There's no man, but like gray a, area. A man, a man. But I understand though. I understand. He, old, he very old. School, I understand bro, what you're shit. saying. And, and, and you got and that, honestly back in when I was a child, man. and from his era, that's how he probably was taught or whatever or whatever. Yeah. Because he from our parents are from another era, yo. They are y'all. some I, shit. No, you feel what I'm saying? Yes, like getting whipped with extension cords. Yeah, that's abuse. It's like real whipping. You're right. Mm-hmm. So that's what the era he from. So. Me being a dog, Fuck yeah, I'm, I would never do my kids that dumb shit. But I'm not gonna say, oh, I get it, why he did it. Mm. I'm just saying, like, that's what the fuck he knew. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, discipline on some shit. So okay. you, 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 I like, I like your concept about it though. I like your your whole mindset about it because it's like that's what you that's what you were taught. Right. It was abuse, definitely. It was. I but see. Yeah, that's it what is. he was taught. Because he was getting. I like hit. your concept about it. Cause he got hit no, with a pool that's stick, they, nigga. That's, that's what abuse. They, that's what they were talking about. It was man. a whole talk, type of whooping. If you didn't listen, days. quote unquote, listen, you are gonna get your fucking ass whooped. Period. And that's kind of how we were. This generation of, of us, that's kind of how we was brought up too. Right. That's true. I just you think the get your word ass whooped. abuse, maybe not in your case, but it's just it's it's expanding over the. Over the, years. Over the time now, yeah, it gonna, is. It's gonna get to a point where you can't even but discipline your kids no more. But that's but, what the but point no, I'm giving It's levels. I, it's levels, bro. It's definitely it's fucking levels. levels because I do believe in verbal abuse. Like you're supposed to speak into your kids and into people. Period. Like don't you ain't gotta do yeah. that shit all the time. I think a little mixture. What? 
I think you just sprinkle a little mixture in there. Like, <laughs> your ideal of discipline, you my read a book, ideal of discipline. The <laughs> we could, like, mix that oh, shit together. I understand and what he's saying, like, though. I'm going to tell you why I'm whooping you. That's He he one of them type of motherfuckers. Uh, I'm going to explain to you why I'm about to whoop you. Yeah, that shit. I'm whooping you because I love you. But Yeah, that's what I got. That's what I got. And I never got that. Like, you know, just. But no, listen. I mean. But but do you also feel like this, though? You raising a you raising a daughter right now. I feel like. A lot of parenting theories or parenting things have, you know, they've been outdated. It's outdated. Mm -hmm. Like, Mm -hmm. you got to take a different approach with this generation. You can't just be whooping their fucking ass because they really don't care. Uh, Think about it. Think about your daughter. You can spank her all day. Well, guess what? She going to do it again. And she going to do it again and again and again and again. I mean, usually yeah, daddies only gotta things. raise their voice. Like, with I'm them. really like just raising my voice. They yeah. are raised up on things, mm. so you gotta take things, yeah. you know, or you gotta explain to them this is why you can't fucking do this because it is what it is. Now, mind you, I am so pro whipping. Right. I am too. So you, so you think I'm, I'm pro whip ass? Right. I'm so y'all pro whipping? I am. I'm pro okay, whipping. So what we talking about? But no, but still, <laughs> no, but still, being I, I, I ain't gonna say this. I ain't gonna say I'm being I'm politically not, correct, but okay. you know that's not always the approach. But I am. Right. I feel like if if I fucking feel like yeah, I need to whoop you. Yeah. Yeah, I got to whoop you. I got whooped like cool, a nigga. All right, cool. Let's I go. got whooped like a nigga that was in the ballroom. But it's not always it's not always needed, and right. not with every situation. Uh, cool, yeah, agree. That's cool. It's, it's so different. It's just different times. Sit down and explain shit. To our them. parents whooped us our asses for everything. But we know it's gonna get that point across, though. Hmm. <laughs> See, look at you. See, I told you're, you, about you're Ike Turner. <laughs> eight times. You acting like Ike. <laughs> eight times. But hey, eight times is a lot of know. time to tell a motherfucker something. I tell you that much. So, <laughs> COVID, uh, COVID, okay. COVID has done the thing that hurt me the most. Mm, took which, Caesars what's that? away. What's that? Besides okay. taking Caesars away, because you anyway, know that that cut me deep. I ain't gonna lie. I know my baby. <laughs> it cut me deep. It cut me deep too. But COVID decided mm. to take away Mardi Gras, Ooh. and that. <clears throat> Felt so disrespectful. <laughs> I just, I, I was beside myself because I don't go nowhere. Like Mardi Gras is the only time of year I'm actually in the streets, mm-hmm. right? And it deprived me of my once a year tradition. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I, I wasn't feeling it. Um, yeah. But B, <clears throat> I mean, I do love Mardi Gras. I don't know how y'all feel about I it. I do. I love Mardi Gras. It's my life. <laughs> But B, I'm not trying to be different. I just don't uh, like. Yes, y'all. Here we come. Here we come. You don't like Mardi Gras. Well, you don't. I don't. I, I don't really like don't it. care for it. I don't care for it. But you know mm. why? I'm burnt out from that shit. How so? What you My was doing? My grandfather like? was in Zulu to his death. Okay. Okay. I got people and certain things. I was very active in this shit. Mm. And it comes to a point. You sit back and be like, for fucking what? What? For yeah. fucking what? I hate I hate traffic. I hate trying to find parking. First of I all, hate walking for a distance right, to uh, catch a bees that I'm gonna throw away next week. You you, you speaking you. from So how much of a <laughs> storage of bees do you have? Buku the bitches. <laughs> Simply because this is the only t- everybody else is at work on a motherfucking Tuesday. Mm, this is our holiday. This is our shit. And I celebrate to the fullest. I feel that. Every year, I start, I start two weeks before that motherfucker. I feel that. <laughs> and, and I go to everything, and I drink everything, and I, and I have a good time. Because that's literally our fucking holiday. We earned that shit. That's ours. That's us. <laughs> that's ours. Oh, it started here. But no, it's jealous. Ours. And it started in Mobile. It started, it started in it, No, hold on, hold on, here. hold on. No, let's do facts, though, because it did. No, I did some more facts. And come on, come on with it. Some more facts. So, more facts. so some basically, facts. It, it's facts already facts. known. Facts. The first yeah. Mardi Gras in the 1700s was Shit, I ain't never heard of that. 
first of all, we stole it from the Caribbean. That's just honestly, honestly, honestly. I would say that definitely. Yeah, yeah it's not but ours. But what you think do all of this? Nothing but Caribbean people. We True. made it out. Creoles and everything like that. But, you know. Creoles, not Caribbean. But, I, will, I will say this. But I'm talking about Bill people saying that it was first. And it <laughs> Let was. them people be, though. They got, their, they got their carnival and we got Mardi Gras. They, period. That's what they have? They have carnival. I thought they had a day of uh, they have, five They call floats. it Mardi Gras, but I call this shit carnival. Oh. <laughs> and our shit is Mardi Gras. Yeah. Mardi Gras. Because that's ours. Mardi yeah. Gras. But but being but for real, being real, we shouldn't have had Mardi Gras last year. Because we really that's shouldn't what have. the fuck brought the that nasty ass COVID really down. That here. white bitch. And I had her. I had her. Yeah, COVID? I had her. How was that? I had her. I, I, I had it on a time where I was still traveling too. So I it was they didn't have a name for the shit. Oh, this was long was time. Just, this before, before this before they Trump wanted to talk about it. Mm. Mm. You know, it, it was out. You know, because it did come out 2019 at the end of the year, right? You thought you had chicken flu. It come, I didn't know what I had because, I, but I because I get sick every year. I just get sick. You know, yeah. mm-hmm. I got bad allergies, all that kind of great shit. But mm-hmm. I had <clears throat> the shit, and I was on tour, and I, I remember being sick as a dog. I remember. Uh, coming home for that Mardi Gras, I couldn't fucking taste nor smell, but I was at every parade. <laughs> Down. It started with jelly. <laughs> Down. It started with jelly, y'all. I <laughs> couldn't taste a motherfucking thing. But I was just and I hugged it that drinking. year too. You did, and I probably <laughs> gave it to you. And I couldn't smell or see. <laughs> but guess what? But 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 for real, it, it it been here, but they just didn't have a name for it. Yeah. And I applaud. I really do applaud Mia Cantrell because oh, hell yeah. she could have had that shit again. She really could have done the Mardi Gras and fed into the whole, oh, we missing out on money type of deal. Mm. But she really cared about the fucking people because mm-hmm. them was one dying like that. We was dying like that. It's really those white people with that bullshit. We was dying like that. So, therefore... Oh, she know what community was hitting yeah, hard. Yeah, you know, it, it was hitting hard. Yeah. And I and mm. we just did not need it this year. Mm-hmm. Did I miss it? Fucking right. Yeah, me too. Because it's really a part of our lifestyle. It at really this point. is. We grew up here. So, that's our life. Facts. But, man, we ain't need that shit this year. She did the right thing. She did. But she ooh, did I'm the missing. right I'm thing. I'm sorry. Anyway, who next? You good? Talk about it. Because I can talk all night. So, what we at with it, bro? Ain't I have been drinking? <laughs> yeah, what I don't... Beef? What we at, beef? <laughs> I don't really care for Mardi Gras like that, oh, but I get it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I didn't why you don't care for it? I'm I didn't comment on it, Ernest. Yeah, you why don't you care for Mardi Gras? What's my bag, right? Tig. I thought you said something. Hey, no, guess man, what? Next Mardi Gras, Gras what y'all going, y'all my coming bad. out there, both of y'all. <laughs> we I mean, we doing Mardi Gras. Right we doing Mardi Gras next Wasn't year. Wasn't on the float together? I ain't talking about on the float. Sometimes I'm talking about from the spectators' perspective. I will come with you, Britt. You driving, though, because I'm not I, driving. Yeah, like, we got to ride together. We can't take more than one car. That's, That's not how you do oh, Mardi Gras. I just know I'm not driving. That's fine. I hate that finding parking shit. We're going to get it popping next year, so maybe it'll change y'all's perspective. I don't know. I'm just not So what like we at next with it, Britt? Oh, the crowds. Okay. okay. Well, you know, what we at, Brittany? Uh, so. Oh. so uh, what happened? <laughs> what's next? <laughs> we at the end. All right. We really at the end? Damn, this was yeah. fast. Yeah, we're we at the end. Um, as always, we got to end with um, what's, what's your experience? experience? Yeah. Um, this week, we talking about <clears throat> what was your experience with being finessed? Ciao. <laughs> 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 what, what happened in your life? What? Where you been finessed? Everything. <laughs> Come on. Shit. I Don't feel like. I, I, yeah, what? How you feel? Because what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's I, the part I ever did like. Yeah, I feel like the one time, the one time I got finessed that affects me today. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm going to talk about. Mm-hmm. Because I don't give money to homeless people mm-hmm. no more. <laughs> <laughs> That so so all right. At this point in time, I'm going please. Did he did he I'm speak? listening, friend. Come on, keep going. <laughs> At this point in time, I'm going to Xavier, right? Okay. And um I went to Wings Wing Snack on Claiborne. Okay. So That's I'm dangerous. Out. Well, it was in the daytime, you know Don't what I'm saying? Cool. It was, it was the middle dangerous. of the day. Uptown. Right? So um you know, I order my food, whatever, and I'm, and you know, over there it's just a little window. You got to pick your food up outside. Mm-hmm. So I order my food, and I what walked out. Wing snack. Yeah. 
Yeah, yes, on downtown. Claiborne. On yes, Claiborne, on yeah. Claiborne. Yes. <clears throat> All right. So I walk out or whatever, and I'm waiting on my food, and a lady roll up with a, um, a stroller. And a baby in the stroller. She was like, oh, ma'am, you know, do you have, you know, such and such? I need to get my baby some Similac, blah, blah, blah. Man, you know, like, really gave me a little story. Cute. And I'm like, you know, she got the baby. Like, I'm looking at the child, right? She didn't she just come <laughs> ask me for Similac man. money. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and so I, I was like, okay, you know. So I, And I gave her, like, $10 because Similac high. Right, that's like half person. the cost. You're a good person too. I gave nah. it like ten, and I'm in college. I ain't got it like that. That's right. You know what I'm saying? But you're but, a good person. Uh, see, ten dollars. Shit. So when, yeah, for real. <laughs> for real, I gave her ten dollars. She uh, she got $10, me. Nah. For real. That's a blunt. So bag. so I went I went to the window, and the lady behind the window was like, "You ain't give her your money, did you?" I was like, yeah, I gave her some money. She was like, oh, baby, don't give them crackheads your money. <laughs> I was like, you know her? She was like, she come around here all the time with the same thing. I said, dang, she really got me out my $10. I would have followed that whole thing. Hey, I don't um, give money to homeless hey, people no I, more. Shit, I would have followed her. But, hey, um, give me that. Anybody ask me for money, the answer like is you. no. I like your mindset. <laughs> I don't even look no. at them when I stop at the car. You, you can't like, look like, at them. You like my mindset? Guess what? I ain't even looking at them motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> you got to look straight ahead. Don't, hey, don't give them the satisfaction. <laughs> I don't care if that whole crying. Don't look over there. I'm just, just keep hey. straight. <laughs> Brittany, I'm going to start doing that because I've been giving the people money. Yeah, I'm telling you, they be finessing. I've been giving the people money because they I know don't. they be finessing, but you know, you know, you know, though, they gonna get theirs. I don't I, know. You know, I, I'm doing my part. Fuck, I'm doing my part. The, if you tell me that, if you tell me that, I'm going on on a limb and I'm saying, "Oh, you being honest." Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little something. I ain't gonna give you my last. Like I ain't getting four days. You ain't missing nothing. Food still tastes the same. You a dirty, dirty <laughs> dog. <laughs> boy, you fucked up, boy. Yep. <laughs> yes. That's a fuck up. You <laughs> tell him <laughs> that. Why don't you tell him no? It you tell the him same. that. Why that's that's that. fucked up. It tastes the same way you ate it. You spend extra energy to just to shit on them. So mean. <laughs> no, I'm being real with them. Let's be real with them. Hey. So Britt said, like all right, so Britt said. I will buy a trust. meal. Like, if you say, if I'm in wherever and you say I'm hungry, can you buy me something to eat? Yeah. They still sell for you bad. They be like, that's all I'm getting? Hey. Bitch, what you want to bring? Hey. You know what? I, I don't have those problems. If I tell Man, somebody look. I'm going to buy them something to eat, oh, I'm they, they order on the level of what I order. You can't that's order right. above... Well, I order. So if yeah, I yeah. order a, a combo, you could get a combo, but don't be trying to add ice cream exactly. and whatnot you like that. Can we get a frosting? Yeah. No, oh, uh, uh, uh. You order on the level <laughs> with y'all order, yeah, and we good. I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all we good. what I got from this, bro. I, man, I'm I'm frosted. I, I, I really felt like a duck, and I blame Langston. <laughs> don't, don't bring my friend into this Fuck anyway. It. I blame him. <laughs> so at that time, Langston came with me like. Hey, Hey man, oh um, man, you got a job with Fox Eight, and I don't like the voice you're using. For my <laughs> That's what it was. I don't like oh, it. Like that. So he mentioned the traffic chick, um, oh, God. Comb and Kevin, whatever, and I was like, oh, I write facts. Gave her the number and everything. They called. She called me. Sound like <laughs> old ass woman. I'm like, damn, she sound old on the phone. Yeah, and, and blah, 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 I'm here with this woman at the station getting hired, this and that. Tell them what I'm going to do, tell them I got to get money for uniform, give money for this and that, blah, blah, blah. And she bought the store, like, yeah, meet my son at the hospital. He worked at the hospital. He adopted and everything. Give him the money. I'm in a meeting, and he going to give it to me, so, and you'll be all set for Monday to um, start work. And I'm you like, should have got finesse, because I don't even understand what the fuck... You just I'm said. I'm just saying. All right. And, 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 I this, and I know that's how she told it to you. I know that, I know that that's exactly how she that's told how it she to you. That's how she told it to me. Because, and you deserve to get finesse. Because that's that was some dumb ass shit that but just look, happened. But look. That was dumb. No. Nope. But look. Let me tell you how the nigga you came out that. the hospital. Okay. Let me tell you how he came out. Girl, you stupid. This is how I feel more stupid, man. It was a straight punk. <laughs> They came out the hospital and I gave that bitch an envelope full of cash. And he took that shit and I kept thinking, 
This nigga didn't walk out with scrubs or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he just walked out that bitch in jeans, regular, and I gave this nigga. He was a, a janitor. With he was cash. a janitor, and he, he got you. I don't think. And they got you because go, all they did was take you. This how much good of an actor he is. <laughs> I don't even think he worked at the hospital at all. <laughs> when he was leaving out, he <laughs> acted like he was talking to people. Like, yeah, I'm right by my block, and I'm like, oh, he know somebody in there. All right, your dumb ass, dude. My dumb ass. Your dumb ass. Hungry for a job. Like, yeah, I'm ready to work. Yeah. And look at me. Wait, you paid for a job? Man. You dumb. <laughs> Fuck it. No, Langston dumb. That's, Fuck him. No. Nope. You did it. You did it. Then look, Langston That's be the like, funniest shit. Bro, I told I've Langston heard that in shit. In me and me and Langston was at my apartment calling that number, trying to set that nigga to beat him up and take my money back. <laughs> but I think he got hip to the game. I think he said, yeah, I'm caught. <laughs> Bruh, um, I am. No, for real, you paid for a job. I paid. I don't know what they talking <laughs> about. But it didn't it dawn to me joke. like I gotta pay for uniform. <laughs> Ten minutes ago. <laughs> <to go. laughs> it didn't dawn to me like I gotta pay for my uniform or some shit. Uh, you know yeah, what? I'm dumb. I'm fuck it, 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 no, you're not, my brother. Because you know, you grew up. You grew up. Times yeah. have changed. Don't teach that stupid shit. Shit is changing. Yeah. Lacey, every time I mention Lacey, I would put his head down like, oh man, my bad. <laughs> to this day. Oh, and first I know Lacey set me up. I said, nigga, you hurt. He said, you hurting you these twenty five dollars? Oh my god. My poor friend. Cause I All up girl. They got I, you though. They it was got the you. whole fag that got me, son. Stop saying that. Don't call it me. It was that. because the fag pretended no. like she was a woman. Don't you call the people gay men. You put the gay men. They you. like it was a woman and Thank I fell you. for that shit. I'm like, Get your mind right. At first I was like, Miss Cole. Bro. Yeah, um, <laughs> I can't even. It's gonna like... be the, yeah, the uniform fee gonna be, and the fucked up thing is, I got my Cole nephew got involved in it. Got I what? got my nephew involved in that shit, and my sister's bumming on that shit too. I'm finished. Oh, no, I'm finished with you. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for that story. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Everybody, Laurel, what you got, my baby? Everybody forget it. You've been finessed. Man, What's I'm, going on? Because what the fuck? I'm scared happened? of you, bro. No. Uh, I'm fucking scared. Uh, oh, you scared? See oh, you scared. it. See oh, it. Man, hold on, man. I'm still laughing at the joke that happened 20 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga called me really a joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't even know what y'all... No, about. fuck you, nigga. You called me a joke. No, it's not no, you. No, I'm just saying... I'm going to get Jelly to beat you it's up. It's her. It's joke. just what you let, allow to happen to you. Jelly, you can beat him up for me? No, uh, please. But you allowed that to happen to you, though, friend. I no did. real shit. I mean, yeah, this this the finesse. Some people story, totally so. talked. I don't know what the fuck they was even saying to you. They violated me. But dog. they said something to you, and you was like, "Yeah." I felt great. <laughs> That's crazy. At the end of everything, I felt like I was raped. I felt That's... like I was in jail, and I was raped. I was like, "Damn." I don't like that you, nigga from Boom. That's was really real. Hold on, bro. The booty war is real. Hold on, dog. Come on, come on, bro. Let me let me. Because what the fuck? I'm almost done recovering. You got a sneeze, nigga? You got a napkin. Nah, I'm just dying. <laughs> dying laughing. Nigga got a handkerchief. Come on, come on, uh, So come the on. time I got finessed, uh, this was out of 150. That's nice. For them dollars. Good amount, man. Good amount. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> finesse. So, Don't it was me. a female, right? Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you ain't a nigga. Start with the female. Start with yeah, the female. Yeah, get it, bro. I like the, I like the shit. Oh, like clearly. That. Did you? 150, clearly. She yeah. was light-skinned? Huh? Yeah. Why that matter? <laughs> oh, come on. What, what, I'm going here because you're about to piss me off. Why no. That matter? No, I'm looking you at him hypocrite. like. Hypocrite. You hi- no, hypocrite. No, why that matter? What you he hypocrite. Anyway, keep going because Ern is drunk. Come on. Come on. Keep going. That's what we got. Yes. This shit was light skin, nigga. Fuck. So what? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, she was, uh, chubby. You know hey, what that mean? All right, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. But I'm right. Right. <laughs> I wasn't tripping. Why he had to mention chubby? Cause, and she was. Cause that, chubby. Cause, that, no, that's why he felt more played. Because she was chubby. Really, you oh, know, that's, that's, that's what it up. is. But chubby, like, you know, I don't know why. She had a few I just rolls. can't even tell. Man, take. shut up. Come on, finish the story. <laughs> fuck it, man. You uh, on record saying you like BBWs, though. What's yeah. wrong with that? What's wrong with us? In, Nothing. Uh, but he on record saying that's his good. Early episode. Yeah, he on record. So you don't like him no more? Nah. That's what's up. Anyway, come on, keep going. But uh, 
So I was liking her and shit like that, and she gave me the old sob story and shit, you know, <laughs> how her uncle died. You and... felt sorry for a fat ass. Just say it. Just say <laughs> it. I liked that life her. story. Yeah, 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 yeah. the operation liked, was $5 I short. I liked her. I liked her. Okay. And you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> the I, operation I just, was $5 short. I don't know short. if she was, like, used to niggas liking her, because I don't know, like, you know what I'm saying? I guess. <laughs> He's so much worse than me. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm thinking I. I'm th- no, I'm thinking if I like you, then what the fuck you doing all this stupid shit for? Like that that's was for a job. Game, like, you know, so but worse. I guess that that was a reality check. You what know what I'm saying? Thing? Everybody, okay. yeah, definitely. So how she got you out the 150? Well, she her uncle died and uh, allegedly she was moving. There was and a hundred fifty dollars short, <laughs> so she needed a hundred and fifty to complete all her shit, <laughs> and I guess bury her uncle. And uh, <laughs> take your kids wherever. I don't know. One hundred and fifty dollars was gonna do the job. I didn't care at the time. I really didn't care. Like she could have told me fucking anything. I'd have been like, yeah, girl. That's sweet. But anyway, you're a sweet man. No, he ain't a simp. You are. Look, it's he so is. Much worse he than is that, simp. That was a simp moment. Thank you, Russell Wilson. Right. Wait. That was a. Uh, that was a simp moment. I she give y'all that. <laughs> with I'm the not, life movie. I'm, I'm not mad Martin at Lawrence that. Martin Lawrence was like, yeah, she was $5 short. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not mad at that. Bitch, I'm mad. And, what? With 150? Man. I mean, that's, I mean, that's cool. That shit just, it, it is what it is. It's a life lesson. If you, if you know. How long ago that Some was? people got to pay. How long ago that was? Financially for their life lessons. How long lessons. ago that was? You have a whole How long ago that was? I love it. <laughs> I love it. How long ago oh, that was, T? T, mm-hmm. how long ago that was? Fuck, like uh, five years ago, maybe four or right. five years That's ago. That's good enough. That's uh, childish. <laughs> I mean, I get it, son. I'm just trying to tell you. It happened to the best of them. Yeah, my, my uncle died. We got to bury him. <laughs> but yeah, and, 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 and then, but the kick short. is, I'm like, your uncle you couldn't have died because I see you on Instagram. Did you, you go like, to the funeral? Huh? You front the funeral, you ain't go to it? No, nigga, I don't want to go to her funeral. You front the funeral, you ain't go to it? nigga won't go to that girl You pay for the motherfucker. Oh, my god. Nigga, you put in. I mean, fuck it. Whatever she do with the money, she do with the money, you know? She got you, period. I was trying to be a nice guy. Yeah, fuck. She finessed you. She finessed you. I love you. But she on Instagram twerking and shit like that. I'm like, (laughs) see, when you talking to me, you all in shambles and shit Ah! like I get the fucking... Pussy, up, emotional girl. side, whatever. And yeah, on yeah. Instagram, they get the fucking freak. And I'm like, see, you know what? See, you know what? That's I'm about. That's what you get. Brittany told me one time, she like, Tig, you like them freaks. That's what you get. And I think she right. Simp. That's what you get. Mm-hmm. Simp moment. Yeah, oh, simp oh. moment. It was a moment. That's a real simp moment, though. But I learned oh. from that. You but know I'm just saying, saying it is what moment. it is. It's just That's you but yeah, she finessed me. Finesse did, did you it. Me. We need your well, experience, Jelly. You finesse? Yeah. And I, I, all right, I'm going to go all the way yeah. left with the, my, the, my finesse, what I think is the ultimate finesse. <laughs> and I'm going with Brittany on this way. I'm going to look at you because we're going to talk about it, me and you, because we're women. Do you not feel like having a baby for a nigga is the ultimate finesse? Shut up, T. Like, you, you, do you feel like it's his finesse? Oh, no. What the fuck yours? you talking about? No, shut you, up. You just shut I'm up. I'm getting in I, on this no, shit. Shut up, T. Because I, I feel like they, that's a finesse on you. Just, just shut the up. They finessed you. I know. I feel like they honestly finessed you. People need you. I think in certain situations that's true. I wish I would have finessed Oprah. You would be surprised. That lady don't fucking want you. That lady wants Stedman. Anyway, Brittany. Allegedly. Because they still ain't child, married. Child, child, so. let's do this. What so, you say, Brad? I, I think in some cases that could be true, um, especially if the woman is primarily the child. Like, if she's the... You the, always are. It, and I say... In it, most cases... Out loud. In most cases, you know, if the, the woman is taking care of the child and y'all not lady. together... <laughs> Kinda sorta. I mean you kinda put a little put a little chain, what they call it, ball and chain on her ankle. Mm-hmm. On the slick. On her ankle, yes. On her ankle, yeah. But yes, you still because it gets swollen. You still doing your thug business. <laughs> yeah, while you still are able to live life. Yeah. I now in have some cases a baby that I have to do and think and <laughs> feed. Yeah, I agree. In some okay. cases. Cause it, it in other cases it's like he didn't really care. 
you know, yes, about about said, putting the clanks on. Him. All I'm saying is, is all I'm saying is, Brit, okay. they they honestly have the option. They, really they meaning the men, mm-hmm. they have the option the of being color. there. Squeeze my way in it. Though. If you are pushing this baby out your motherfucking ass, hopscotch. You, you, that is your responsibility to do for. It's great that men want to be there, and that's great. Thank you so much for being my baby daddy. But <laughs> if if not, I gotta do it. That's very much true. It is the ultimate male finesse. A woman would always be the best thing here. Shut up. It, no, I'm just Thank saying. you. That's no. not what, I, See? what the fuck I said. I'm, no, it is what you said. We saying. are the we are the best thing here. It but is, bro, I grew up with number of females. I see the shit every day when I grew up. And I could say, see, that's that Russell female. Wilson's type no, shit. But nobody not. asked no, you that. No, it's not. Nobody no, it's asked him that though. <laughs> Why are you even saying that no, shit? I'm a real He's right. No, ain't oh that's my right. God. I'm a real Look, that doesn't define a real nigga. <laughs> Niggas gonna be peeing out their penises and out their assholes and shit like that when it's what? when it when it wants some money shit. Niggas don't gotta go to buy fucking pads and put on their booty hole and what or whatever. Women gonna do a lot of shit. Wait a minute. Uh, it, is, it, is, wait, fuck it. it is what it is. What are okay. we saying? No, I'm saying that women go through a lot of shit. These okay. motherfuckers gotta push a human out them. Yeah, that's that's right, that's true. that's what these motherfuckers about. cramping. True. These motherfuckers <laughs> got got out flow coming once a month. Okay. You think we gotta worry about that? Right. We don't. We just don't. And I dealt with that shit all my life with personality, mood swings, and all that bullshit. Yeah. So. But I'm saying though, even to tie it back into what you're saying, you know, your mama had five motherfucking children right. when she met your stepdaddy. I had Shelly. She was raising them five fucking children. Oh, definitely. And 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 and, yeah. and it was a uh always it worked. was definitely a stand up man moment for him right. to take care but of. But my mama always but she, he what, didn't have to. Right, you know what but I mean? 100% my mama because that's what we she got. She always do. worked. Always <laughs> held it down. Finesse. No matter what, my <laughs> mom always held children, it down. Bro. Five kids. Don't do it, Brett. You ain't gotta worry about me. You, See, you better shut up, boy. You, you ain't gotta worry up. about we me. I'm actually, I actually agree with them. It is finesse. You know, nigga, is. you agree yeah. with me. No, he, he's right, though. So you be on some simp shit. Let this man. You just had a whole simp moment on what your spirit with a girl got you on 150. Let this man. Don't worry, you can recover from it. Oh, uh, she was out there twerking and being a hoe. Right, and she got 150 for me. It ain't that serious. Ah, my pussy hurt. Ah. (laughs) (laughs) Ah. She was 150 danced on Instagram being a hoe. And I gave him 150 for a few to roll. Let this man have his own opinion, bro. Fuck that shit. Let him have his own opinion. I like that girl, bro. Fuck what you talking about. I understand. I'm glad you did. But never again. Well, I'm glad you did like the family girl as you described her. Everybody didn't been finessed. We know that. Right. One way or another. I, I enjoyed our time here. That's how the game go. I Today. do enjoy our time together, go. Um, Thank you guys I for having it. me. For Jelly, real. you got to come back, baby. Y'all. Jelly, I want you to do us a favor. Please, give us something. Girl, what? Anything. I know you're lying. Just a little, just a little <laughs> taste. i tell you what I want you to do, though. Okay, well, tell I would them. like for you to go and... Uh, I got a bunch of videos on YouTube. A bunch of them. Um, I got some songs out uh, with some people, you know. So, you guys, please feel free to... Go listen to that good stuff because guess what? Mm-mm. Tell, what, what else? <laughs> Tell them what the See, search. I have title. <clears throat> uh, uh, Brittany and, has Spotify. Spotify. I got Spotify. Spotify. No, I, I, you all my playlist for Spotify. But listen, I'm on about a bunch of products. I mean, pro, uh, projects. Sorry, but <clears throat> um, I've never released a project, but I'm getting ready to release one uh, this year. I've never released one on my own, but I, like I said, I'm on a bunch of projects on Spotify, YouTube iTunes, all that shit. Uh, but I'm getting ready to release one. It's going to be called Must Be Jelly Cuz. Okay. Da, 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 whatever. Um, and I want you guys to check it out. I'm gonna Was that the beautiful it. cover? I'm always seeing No, I don't have a cover yet. Yes, you do. I sure don't. And, <laughs> how, um, how you going to tell her she got a cover? I mean, I just, you know, pictures be pictures. But <laughs> I've seen what I've seen. Pictures. You look at half so, and look like your own cover. So this is a single? Um, no, it's going to be an, uh, uh, an EP. Actually. Uh, e- oh, I love that. So yeah, I love that like jelly. Five or six songs. Um, six, you said? Five or six. Five or six. I don't know. I'm, I'm deciding. Okay. I want you guys to check it out. Um, I definitely will. And it's coming like uh, midsummer. 
Okay. So check it out for me. That's all I got. Tell, them, tell, I them, can't what, sing. tell I can them what the on search on, on Spotify or Apple, who they need to search for to, to find you. Um, let me see. Hmm. You guys can look under uh, Galactic, mm -hmm. uh, G A L A C T I C. I think that's it. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'm on a bunch of Tank and the Bangles stuff, of course. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like on YouTube, you can just look up my name. I'm on a bunch of shit. Like you said, you gonna see, you can see my audition, all kind of crazy stuff like that. But you know, okay. support your local artists. You know, because oh, I'm definitely, I'm not new to this, but I am, you know, just kind of jumping out there and and being a front artist for myself. I'm used to singing background, but mm -hmm. I want you guys to check out my project. It's so. your time, baby. And, um, Thank you. It's your yep. time. I would like for and it to be. And one more thing. Going on a black business. We almost oh, forgot. we forgot about that. My black boy, business? my brother, my homeboy have his own cleaning business, and it's called um, The Bearded Guy, right? The mm -hmm. Bearded Guy? Who's that for? Who that's for? That's my boy, Justin. Back all right, Justin. All right, you got a little business. Not Leo, because I hate when black people do that. Uh, you got a business. <laughs> Yes. So if you got a business boy, go ahead now. So if anybody, what kind of cleaning? You clean houses? Clean residential and what? business and all that. Commercial. He says commercial. commercial. Yeah. So Get the it right. bearded guy cleaning <laughs> services. So definitely hook him up. Um, check him on the gram. On the bearded guy cleaning. At the bearded guy. Um, DM him for prices and everything like that. On the gram, Facebook, and everything like that. Definitely. Um, I'm very proud of my brother. Um, yes. he's doing big things, awesome. and look, he do great work. So, black business, show him support. Yeah. Call him up. Once again, the bearded guy cleaning services. At the bearded guy cleaning services, or is it just uh, at the bearded guy? You oh. got a jingle? <laughs> yeah, he got a jingle. <laughs> bearded guy cleaning, cleaning service. service. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! <laughs> you guys I are in the wrong it. business. You should come and do what I'm doing. I love it. Jingo That's 3000. Awesome. I love it. Come on, Jingo 3000. Yes, JB. We got you. We got you, bro. I'm telling you. But never know. do that for me, y'all. I'm probably going to be utilizing that service. Shout out myself. to all the fucking black okay. businesses out there, though. Yes. yes. And happy Black History Month right. to yes. everybody. Yes. Another black yeah. business. Um, me, myself, I do have a lounge opening up pretty coming soon. When? In March, baby. It's going to be right. mid to late March. Waiting on governor approval on some shit. But okay. I'm doing big things. Um, so support me also. Um, called Spangus Lounge. It's going to be on 1720 Granite Boulevard in Harvard, Louisiana, off of Manhattan. You ain't great. Oh, no. You said Granite Boulevard. I'm sorry. You ain't Harvard. Granite. I'm, I'm not Harvard. coming. I'm not playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> I think I'm not playing. You safe. You good. I'm just playing. <laughs> But, I but I can't wait to support you, baby. I can't I, wait to support I knew, you. I knew. I'm looking forward to that too, Ernest, yeah. myself. So... Uh, so Ernest, you want to take us out? What you, what we doing? What, what's our final words? Final word of the day, y'all. Y'all know I'm a positive brother at the end of the night. Um, with everything going on with COVID and, uh, and everything, I feel like more and more of our lives are being lost with who we know. Um, rest in peace, my cousin Chris and repeat Ashton. Um, rest in peace on um, a lot rest of peace DJ Blazer that's my dog there you go rest in peace, um, everybody really had to appreciate life for what it every day live life like it's your last mm. have fun money is not whatever because you can't take it with you enjoy the people around you call the people who you love and tell them hey I love you check on them. check on your brothers check on your sister your cousin mama check on your friends because you never know when that day is your last. Oh, the day is their last. That's right. I feel that. <clears throat> I feel that, Ernest. Everybody love I love everybody. you. I love yeah. you, baby. I love you guys. We yeah, love you so much again for having me. Thank you. Y'all, peace out. What you got Bye. Bye. Oh, oh, we, oh, yeah. He you know, I got to sign that pity on the running car. Ah. <clears throat> Y'all already know what it is. <laughs> This is the EBL Spirit uh, signing off all right, of exactly. this episode. Exactly. Listen to us. Signing out. Everybody love everybody. Peace out. Love y'all. Peace and love.